guys uh, uh, in this video uh, we will be seeing how to create instances uh, required for um, installing cloud era uh, in google cloud so google cloud we need to register first with your credit card details uh, so you'll be deducting around two rupees of your amount and that will be reverted back after some time so this is the window where we can create the VM instance, you can go here. Uh, so you can select for compute engine, and you can select for this. Uh, one second. Compute engine and VM instance. Okay, so this is the tab, and so. For uh, creating a cloud era mm, machines, so we require one edge node where the gateway nodes are installed, and uh, two, one name node, th three worker nodes, and one cloud era manager node. So I'll be creating the instances. Click on the create button. Okay, so I'll be naming these instances as CM. CM means Cloud Era Manager, and I'll be keeping the default one GB of, I mean one CPU core and two point three point seven of GB, and I'll be changing the OS version that will be CentOS seven, and I'll make this uh, as a fifty GB. Okay, and I'll be selecting the standard process on disk. Select. And I'll be taking all alone and I'll be doing the SSH key to connect to the instance or else we can go with a manual collection also that will be able to connect okay so if you want to uh, do it through SSH key you need to uh, create a SSH key using uh, gen so you and paste that SSH key here. Okay, if not, we can go directly over there. So this is the SSH key I have created. That is a Hadoop private key. I'm just copying this part. And pasting it over here. We are fine with that and we can go ahead and create the instance. So similarly we need three worker nodes, one master node and one for edge nodes. Okay, so we'll go ahead and create the master node instance. Create and name it as master. And here I'll put the uh, customize because master node consists of all the master services like uh, name node service, hide server service, uh, source manager, um, Spark, and Yarn history servers. So all the server configurations or the, or the server demons are placed in the server. So I need more CPU here. So I'll select 2 and 7 GB of the memory. I'll go change the center 7 and I'll select 50 GB that's sufficient to store the data in select come down similar ways go here go to SSH key and paste the content that you have okay and we can go ahead with creating Okay, master has been created and I need one edge node. Okay, mm. so 
So one more thing you need you can observe here is you have to create it in different uh, zones otherwise uh, one zone will allow you to create eight uh, CPU cores so if you exceed that it will not allow us to create so I am taking the another zone change set to a seven and I'll select it 50 GB select hello go to SSH key this is the manual steps you can also configure this uh, using uh, instance templates where we can create a templates for uh, particular uh, uh, instances see if you want to create three worker node uh, uh, nodes or more than that you can create an instance template here where we can specify all the configuration what you are doing it manually and we, uh, we can just run that so by this way we can create if there are more number of instances to be created as of now there is a minimal uh, instances as we are taking so I am going through manual way so I am created the edge and I need three worker nodes so I'll be going here change this I'll tap it as work node one okay I'll change this seven fifty select uh, hello traffic SSH SSH Control V Create Okay and Okay, we'll go for one more more create instance. It's a manual process. So as we are getting a minimal number of instances from the Google Cloud, so I'm just creating it manually that's fine it takes another two to three minutes to create select hello SSH key paste the SSH key over here So we need one more. One, two, three, four, five. So one CM node, edge node, master node, worker node, and work node three. So we are creating three work nodes as the default replication factor is three. So Select and then we are going create. Okay. Internet is a bit slow, sorry guys. So, okay. so as you are seeing uh, uh, 
uh, we are missing the worker node 3 I'll go ahead and create that one more time Okay, I'll mark it as worker node 3 and I'll check different instance and go with the default configuration change 7 and 50 select allow the tropics of which DPS and I'll go with the SSH key I'll paste it here this looks fine and create it okay this one is done yeah the instance has been created so it's still in the progress okay and meanwhile so you have to do mm, some firewall connections here go to the VPC network and firewall rules here okay you have to allow the uh, IPs from anywhere so I request to select this default allow internal okay click on that and see here the IP ranges you have to make it this entry in your IP ranges okay and this remains the same so after that you can save it so that's what what we are saying here is we are uh, telling the um, firewall saying that I can able to connect from anywhere so I will be allowing all the TCP ports from 0 to 65535 and UDP ports from 65533 anywhere so Cloudera uh, requires number of ports needs to be open uh, when you are connecting to web interface for example for connecting the cloud era manager to web uh, when we the 7180 port needs to be open so that's the reason I'm saying yeah so the firewall rules once again if you can go here and you can go here and edit that and you can do that okay go to the edit portion add this part uh, I'll show you if you want zero 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 again zero slash zero okay that's fine okay and just specify the loads and save this so this is very much important uh, task to be done before going uh, with the installation because otherwise you can't open the cloud era manager using web interface yeah so uh, this is how uh, we can create uh, our uh, Google instances uh, which are required for uh, um, Cloud Era Manager. Okay, I'll show it once again the created instances. I'll go to the Compute Engine and VM instances. And these are the instances. So, in the next video, we will be going with the prerequisites for these instances with kernel prerequisites and we will doing the SSH creating a user called Cloudera and making that user as a pseudo user then making that uh, user as a passwordless users so that it will connect from a CM to edge without any password so that prerequisites will be doing on next video so thanks for watching guys please subscribe if you feel good about the video thank you